And our super chef, Lisa Schroeder, is here with some tips for getting it right. And, and we, I see the before and I see the after we're going for. Let's look at the before right there. And before we even uh, start jumping into this, there are all kinds of uh, different companies out there with their, their chicken, with their names. Is there one particular type of chicken brand that you would go for, or is it more just looking at the chicken itself? I look itself? for free range, and uh, locally it's a Draper chicken, Draper Valley, and that's okay. free range, and they're happy little chickens, and that's what we serve at Mother's. Okay, uh, good. What I first of all want to do is tie up the chicken, because you can cook it like this, and if mm -hmm. you don't know how to tie it, that's fine. It just won't be as pretty as the final. There went a piece of chicken flying. And that's chicken wing down. <laughs> And that's why you need a good knife. Okay, I take, I under the wings, I just uh, pull a piece of string, okay, mm -hmm. even amount, and then wrap it around the legs like so. Wow. Okay? Tie, bring them together, boom, I'm done. Now, again, as I said, if you don't know how to do it, and it did take me some practice to be able to do it, uh, don't bother to tie your chicken. Hey, it, it kind of from Season the inside out. Season the cavity, Not absolutely. Sea salt right there. I, this is kosher salt, kosher mainly salt. because I can see where it's mm -hmm. landing, and I want to make sure it's well covered. Again, on the inside. In there. Garlic salt, not garlic powder, garlic salt. It help, it's not as intense as garlic powder. So, and why don't I use fresh garlic? Because it will burn before the chicken cooks. Okay. So garlic salt adds a lot and of I'm, flavor. And I'm not, just, just like now, that. Now you're not going to ingest the butter like this. It's going to okay. melt and it's going right. to baste the chicken right. as it cooks. Um, 350 degrees for about an hour. You've got a chicken, you've got dinner, and you've got lunch tomorrow in wow. a sandwich. And you just put it on one of those little broiler Yes, you want it on a rack so that the drippings fall okay. down below. Here's the now, final. Now, of course, this is the final product, mm -hmm. and what you want to do is, um, again, using a knife. Oh, man, this smells You guys fantastic. have been dying to eat this whole morning, yes. so yes. Uh, why don't you have a bite Kim? and tell everybody okay. what you think. <laughs> mm. Mm. Tasty? It's so good. It's so moist. It's so tender. It's so tasty. The point is, don't ki don't overcook it. Use an instant read thermometer till it's about 165 degrees, and then take it out of the oven. Let it rest for about 10 minutes, and then carve. Gotta it. Gotta let it rest. All right. Yes. Thank you very much.